In this lesson, we'll be discussing the Maya numeration system. The Maya Indians had a numeration system based on the number 20. It used patterns of dots and bars to count, as shown. Notice that we have pebbles and sticks to represent numbers between 1 and 19. What's not shown here is the symbol used for the number 0. 0 is represented as a shell, and I'll show you how it's drawn with the example prepared. Furthermore, numbers in the Mayan system are written vertically, meaning that for every subsequent place value, a new row of symbols are displayed and added to the previous rows. You'll see this in action with our example. The odd thing about the numbering system is that even though it's based on the base 20, the place values don't go up in powers of 20, as you saw with the Babylonian system, where for each place value represented a power of 60. The twist is that they do for the first two rows, but after that, the mines used multiples of 360 in place of 400, 20 times 20, for example. The reason for this is because their numbering system was designed to keep track of time. Their annual calendar consisted of 360 days. Anyway, let's put that all into action with this example. Convert 8,292 to Mayan notation. Let's try to find the largest multiple of 360 that will divide into 8,292. We have 18 times 20, that is equal to 360. We also have 18 times 20 times 20, that is equal to 7,200. 7,200 is the largest multiple of 360 that will divide into this. So we'll take 7,200 and divide it into this number where we get, I'll show you the work here, 8,292, we're dividing them. You should end up with one. One 7,200 fits into this number as a whole. So taking 8,292 and subtracting it from 7,200, we get 1,092. I'll explain why that's important. First of all, in the highest row of numbers to represent this, we'll have one pebble. In the row beneath it, we now have to do the same thing with 1092. What is the highest multiple of 360 that will divide into that? It's 360. So I'll write it down, 360 divided by 1092. 1092 divided by 360 gives us 3. It will divide 3 times comfortably. We'll have a remainder, of course, and that we can work with. So 3 times 360 is equal to 1080. Subtract that from 1092. That's a remainder of 12. So to represent 3, we look at this chart. And we will have three pebbles. So this part right here is 18 times 20 to the power of 2. Here we have 18 times 20 to the power of 1. The second row from the bottom is the 20s. And then we have the numbers ranging from 1 to 19. If we have 12, how many 20s will fit into 12? None. It's too big, so we'll represent it as a shell. The last row, the bottom row, we can represent it as the number 12 with these two sticks and the two pebbles at the top. As you can see, the numbers are written vertically from highest to lowest. Adding this all up gives us 8,292. And so there you have it. That is the Mayan numeration system. If you have any questions or if you'd like to convert one of your own, leave it in the comment section below and we'll gladly help you.